Good evening, brethren. I wanted to share something with you I noticed the other night. <clears throat> I was commenting on a video that Brother Aaron Judge had done. And unfortunately, I do not have the proof to show that that conversation took place. But I can and will show here in this video proof that this thing is taking place. Um, <clears throat> there was a, an individual, obviously Catholic, their name is, uh, channel name is Apostolic C, that commented on a video that Brother Aaron Judge did. And he said something to the effect that um, Roman Catholic tradition, traditions didn't interfere with Bible doctrine in any way, shape, or form. So I showed him that they do, uh, how Mary was not a, not a perpetual virgin, how Jesus had four brothers and at least two sisters, and he went right back to the church fathers. Well, this person says they could be cousins, which is kind of funny because Elizabeth was clearly named the cousin of Mary, but they must have meant sister or was it cousin. I don't know. It's, it's so confusing when talking to these people. Um, but I commented one thing, and then they commented back, and I sent one more reply, and then I just decided to reload the video, and it was gone. So I logged out and logged back into YouTube, and the comment was gone. So I had Brother Aaron look to see if perhaps somebody that he had on a mo as a moderator had done it. He didn't have any moderators. He does now but he didn't at the time. And my comment hadn't been flagged and removed by a mod or anything like that. It was just gone. Which is very interesting considering Trump has said in the past that he was going to put a stop to anti-Catholic rhetoric. And Brother Brian in this video here, the papists are taking over, mentioned that very fact once again, four hours ago when the video got put up. Well, <clears throat> here's Brother Brian's 100% sure word of prophecy. And right here, you can't see it fully, but there's my name, device of inerrantist. And I said, a brother showed me this in Daniel, and I have been thinking about this. I don't think the Antichrist will be a pope at all. More likely, a pope will be the false prophet. If we look at Daniel 11.37, the verse is talking about the Antichrist, and it says, Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers. This phrase is specific once to Isaac in Genesis 46.1, and the seven other times it appears God of his father fathers. It applies only to the Jews. Taking that into account, I would say that the man of sin would therefore have to be a Jew. Going back to Daniel 11.37, the verse goes on to say, Nor the desire of women. Catholic priests do regard the desire of women, but due to forced celibacy, they have the issues that they have, and then still have relations with women. I am sure that some Catholic men are sodomites, but we have to take into account the first part of the verse as well. You have remarked, speaking to Brother Brian here, yourself, that sodomy is rampant in Israel. This man of sin, whomever it is going to be, will most likely be a Jewish sodomite based on these proofs. <clears throat> so, I uh, reloaded the video. Do it again. This is the second tab of that video I have opened up. Forgive me the tinging. I've got some chicken that's I've, I've canned. And the jars are sealing. Notice. You can stop to slow it down and look if you will. Or go to the video if you prefer. My, my comment is gone. Okay. I'll log out. Pardon the uh, vexation there. Huh. Apparently I can't log into my account now. Isn't that interesting? Oh, there it is. Okay, here it is. 100% sure word of prophecy. That was weird. We'll do this again. Newest first. Where's my comment? 
It's gone. Imagine that. Now, j just, I want to see something real quick. On Brother Brian's other video that he did about Joe Biden, the papists are taking over, I commented about the horror of Revelation. Let's see. Oh, see, there, it's it's still there. Um, even clearly uh, mentioned right here. Horror of Revelation, but uh, this other one is gone. It was at the eight minute, eight second mark. Now, there's my comment right there. I haven't reloaded this page at all. Let's reload it real quick. Brand new page. You can see that it's the only YouTube page that I have open. It was first. There's my comment. Now, just for sake of argument, I will log out and log back in once again. Sorry. Okay. And sign back in. There's a video in question once again. And I know Brother Brian isn't doing this. I suppose it could be a possibility that... Uh, <clears throat> it could be a, a mod, but I doubt that very like uh, very highly, considering the same thing happened to me on Aaron Judge's channel. Now look, once again, my comment is gone. Now why could that be? Well, I was speaking about uh, speaking out in a negative manner against two movements, both of which God hates sodomy and the horror of revelation 17 and 18. now i wonder why my comment would be deleted isn't that interesting so i just wanted to show this and document it um and i wouldn't be surprised if my other comment on brother brian's other video be removed soon as well because i very clearly mentioned the, the horror of revelation 17. i just wanted to show that brother brian wasn't joking around and I think you clearly can see that I wasn't deleting my comment and then making it look like I'd done it. I'm being censored by YouTube goons or Catholics or Jesuits in a position of power with YouTube that are censoring my comments because they don't want the truth to be put out. So I figured I'd share that. Um, so that'll be it. Thank you for watching.